I'm doing a little tutorial for you today. Uh, this is for my Libby Joy Hoops page and my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to twist down your travel hoop. Um, and also I'm going to cover, when you order one of these on my website, it's going to come to you already collapsed down. And it's, I'm going to show you how to open it back out once you unpackage everything and you get your new hoop and you want to play with it. So um, when you have a hoop that's full circle, uh, the first time you go to uh, collapse it down, it's got two connection points. There's one here, and I, I usually mark them with uh, the tape um, in the parallel lines there. So you can see there are two locations on the hoop with those connections. So you're going to stack them, and um, I hold them between my hands so I can get a good amount of control here. You don't want to be too, too close together. It just feels like you don't ha really have as much control. So give yourself some, some room there, and then um, you can either put it on the ground, or sometimes I like to put it on the tops of my feet just to keep it off of the ground, or carpet, or whatever you've got. So the motion for doing this is a twisting motion. Um, it's kind of like when you're wringing a towel. You're moving your hands in the opposite direction. Um, and you really want to make sure that you give it a good twisting start before you push down. That's, that's step number one. Um, so it's going to be this twisting motion and you'll feel the connectors start to work and you're going to go all the way down to meet the other connector. Sorry, that's off camera. And then you're going to pick it up and you're going to fold those loops away from you. So the connectors are here at my waist and I've got the ends here. Now you can either use a strap to um, connect these two kind of keep them under control or one of these loops will slide underneath the other one and lock it in place so just like that so you don't need a strap for that but you do need to remember when you go to open it up you have to unslide whichever loop will come come out first and then your hoop will pop open and with the connectors at the center of that figure eight you're going to pull the loops open and then grab the connectors and open the hoop up the rest of the way. And it'll be a little bit wonky, but just give it some, some twists and some gentle flexing to bring it back into shape. Now, um, I'll show that to you again. So, twisting before pushing. And I'll stop here. If you don't twist your hoop before you start to push down, it will either cause it to be permanently oval or it will kink. So it must be twisted before you push down and you pick it up and you collapse the ends together and there you go. So I hope that helps. Send me a message if you need more info.